Hey everyone, it's me, Arthur Cade. So Jeff Bridges, one of my favorite movies of the year, Hell or High Water, I've got to tell you. When you make a movie like this, it became essentially the sleeper hit of 2016. Why do you think this story and these characters connected to people the way they did? Well, I think it starts with the script. And this uh, script had uh, such authenticity. That's what I thought when I read it, that this guy Taylor Sheridan, uh, the writer, he really knew uh, what he was talking about. And also, a lot, I've been hearing from a lot of people that it's very reflective of these times. You know, people uh, financially really stressed out and uh, uh, this idea, one of the themes that I found very interesting, uh, you know, what are the, um, the consequences of dealing with, you know, looking for only your self-interest and whether that, whether you're a, you know, a bank or a poor rancher or, a, you know, an oil company and what are the consequences of that, you know. Um, and I think that's, uh, you know, a theme that is very pertinent today. We've got, um, you know, those folks at Standing Rock right now, you know. Yep. They're not only looking out for their own self-interest, but all of ours. I think that's a great uh, message that we can really uh, focus on. You know, we're all in this together, you know, each of our... Uh, each of our um, our experiences has to do with each other. You know, we're all we're just we're all we're connected. You know, it's not an uh, us and them kind of.